Got Southeast Soft Wash right here in the field doing a little bit of cleaning. This is our local veterinarian, about a quarter of a mile from my house. Of course, the dogs are gonna start barking. So as you can see behind us, we've got a really nasty strike of uh, organic growth on the front of this building. Uh, we'll walk over here and get away from the barks. All the way down the front. Over here, you can see it. Uh, Hopefully the sun's not too bright in camera, but the reason that it's this dirty from, we'll call it three foot down, is because the rain is running off of this roof, it's splashing back up onto the rock, and it's always staying moist and damp, just enough to give those organics uh, some moisture so they can grow. So what we're gonna do is soft wash this. Now there's multiple ways you could tackle this project. You could pressure wash this off. Uh, you could do a combo. You could soft wash slash pressure wash, which is kind of really what we're gonna do. We're gonna treat it with about a 4% mixture and uh, we'll probably rinse it with the ball valve. So the way we like to do it, kind of fight the traffic here. The way we like to do it, if it's some small job like this, we'll probably treat it, uh, let it dwell about 20 minutes and come back with a high pressure ball valve and just knock it off. If it's a really small section, something you know very small, we may just straight pressure wash that because it'd be quicker. Uh, but anything with any size to it, we're gonna soft wash it because it's gonna be quicker even if we have to put multiple applications, it's gonna be quicker and easier and I'm not gonna get nasty trying to do it. So what we'll do is, uh, let's go back here to the truck and let you see uh, Lumax Pro, Ty and Dusty are out here. Dusty's holding the camera. Ty's trying to stay off camera, but he is here. So we'll grab the uh, soft wash system on this side. We've got the Lumax Pro and we'll prime everything up, bring you guys right back. So stand by, we'll be right back. We'll get the wands out and do a little bit of work. All right guys, so we've got our hose pulled out. We've primed up all the lines and we're spraying this about a 4%. So you can really play with things uh, ratio wise on surfaces like this. You can't really damage this type of material, rock, flagstone, concrete, nothing here to worry about. There's no electrical anywhere uh, and it's really, really nasty. So we're gonna hit it pretty hot. What we'll do is probably just kind of draw us a line right here and clean to the right so that we'll get that before and after contrast. It may take a couple of applications, but we'll let you guys see the end result. Uh, so we'll, very easy, I mean, nothing really to it. We'll just apply from the top down. That's pretty much it. We'll do a couple of coats. So this customer, this veterinarian uh, animal hospital, he is concerned about getting water behind this flagstone. Behind that is brick, and you can see it over there where the flagstone has chipped away over the years. There's a couple places in the mortar here, uh, but that's one of the benefits of soft washing. We don't have to worry about doing any uh, damage to this. This is already a little bit fragile. We're not gonna accelerate any erosion. We're not gonna get any water behind the wall, so we don't have to worry about that stuff. So uh, we'll let that dwell just a minute. I'm gonna do that side over there, and uh, we'll come back and let you guys see the results. All right, guys, so we're talking about why it's so dirty in these particular areas. I always like to know the why behind organics. You know, if you can figure out what's going on, it just helps me to understand what's really happening when we're cleaning. We see, uh, let me set the wand down. We see we've got these clean sections here right by the door. Kind of from, from here up, all that's clean. Same thing on that side. Well, that's because we've got a roof over that area. Let's look right over here. In front of the truck here, uh, up by the wall, it's really not dirty down there. Why is that? Why is it stopping? Well, it's because we've got this, uh, I don't know what this stuff is called, this vegetation right. here. It's like juniper uh, stuff. Yeah, it's absorbent. So when the rain falls, it's not hitting a concrete pad and splashing back. So that's keeping that splash back down to a minimum. It's not getting wet up on the wall. Uh, so we can tell right where the dirty, sparks, the dirty part starts at is right where that ends and the concrete starts. Always helpful to know the why. So we put a couple coats on it. You can tell, I don't know if you guys can see it in camera, but it's already doing some work here. So uh, we'll probably break out the ball valve, do a little bit of rinsing, and then we'll be back and let you guys see the dramatic before and after.
guys, so we're back here, fixing to go eat lunch. We finished up the demo part of this anyway. You can see behind me the clean section. Uh, managed to not even get any bleach on my pants. So if you're careful, you don't necessarily have to wear bummy clothes all the time. I got Raptor liner all over my jacket. But you can see behind us, line of demarcation here where it's nasty back that way and we cleaned this side. So it looks brand new. They're tickled to death. We'll look at this side over here. How long have we been here, Duck? 30 minutes, minutes something. I, mean, 30, total. I don't think 30, maybe 20, I don't know. Clean, dirty, uh, a lot of playing around. So we just wanted to do this one to get you guys the footage. So if you see stuff like this when you're out and about, stop, give them a card. You can definitely soft wash it, whether it's stucco, hard surfaces, brick, flagstone like this, uh, anything. Pretty much if it's organic, start getting an eye for spotting those organic growth problems, uh, you can address it with a soft wash system. So. Let's go eat lunch. Hope you guys have a great uh, Thursday, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.